Greetings Earthlings and welcome to today's tutorial. A lot of you guys have been requesting to do something with color and a lot of you guys are like what happened to your old tutorials? You used to do so much color. So I am here today with some color and I'm really excited. I'm going to be using Milani's gel, their new um, Bella Eye gel powder eyeshadows. I picked these up at Walgreens, I only got three, and I'm, I used the three that I picked up, which is Bella Navy, Bella White, and Bella Teal. And I am so in love with these eyeshadows that I want to go back. I think there's like 33 colors. I want to go back and get more because I just love these eyeshadows so much. You will see in the video, oh, you can see now, like the color payoff and just working with them is such a delight. So, before we get the tutorial started, I also want to mention that I am doing a, somewhat of a collaboration. Um, Shades of Cassie is going to be filming a tutorial as well using the Milana, Milana, what? Milani Bella eyeshadows. So be sure to check out her tutorial. I'm going to leave a link down below. And not only her video, just check out her channel if you're not already subscribed. I love Shades of Cassie. I love all her videos. She's one of the gurus that I anticipate her videos to come out. I'm, I get so excited. I just love watching her. Shades of Cassie, if you're watching this, hello, I love you. I'm going to stop talking so you can watch it. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. And all my social networks, links, and stuff, fun stuff will be down below. Let's get started. All right, so before we get started, um, as you can see, I have my foundation, concealer, contour, and highlight on. I don't have my blush because I am going to be applying that in the video because it's kind of an important element to the eyes. So I will say real quick what I do have on my face is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Optic Blur Foundation and Concealer. And I also filmed a video, like my review and demo on this. So look for that like within the next few days because um, I have a full review on these two products. So I have that on my face and then I contoured, what the hell, girl. I contoured with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, and then I highlighted with Still Glamorous Cosmetics, the highlights right there. And I contoured my nose with the same Anastasia Beverly Hills contour powder. And here we are. We're about to do the eyebrows. I'm taking my favorite eyebrow angled brush. This is a small angle E65 from Sigma. Gotta have this for the brows. Dip brow pomade and chocolate. And as you can see, I like to use short strokes. That's what he said. <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer 1.0 and I'm taking this Sigma concealer brush and I'm just going to go right underneath here so I like to go and kind of just 
pull down along. So go right up to the edge, pull down. Next I'm going to be going in with NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and a small concealer brush and I'm just getting the product onto the lids and then I'm going to use my finger to blend this product into my lids. You don't want this stuff to be thick or heavy or else your eyeshadow is going to crease up terribly. So you will see just how much I do blend this in. You want it to create just a really light canvas. You don't want this stuff caked on your eyelids, trust me. Now I'm taking Milani's new gel powder in Bella Teal and I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush and I actually sprayed this with a makeup setting spray. That way the eyeshadow doesn't go everywhere and I just packed this on the lower lid. Look at how pigmented this eyeshadow is. All of them are super pigmented. Well the three I got. Alright, now I'm taking Sigma's crease brush and I'm taking Buck from the Naked palette, which is just a matte brown, and I'm popping that in the crease. small crease brush from Sigma and I'm going in with Milani's Bella Navy. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous navy blue and I am just going to take this color in my crease and I'm basically just going to keep this color in the crease building it up. So I'm going from the inner corner of my eye all the way to the outer corner and like I said, I'm just going to go back in with some more color, building it up and blending it out. Now I'm going in with a clean shader brush. This brush is actually from Target. It's an up and up brush and it's lovely. There's nothing on this brush. I'm just going in and blending out those edges for a nice gradient effect. So now I'm going in with a small crease brush. I'm going in with Naked's Buck in that Bella Navy. And we're going to blend this out even more. So I'm going to go just above my crease and I'm going to lightly buff this in, blend, 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 and this is just going to give a nice gradient, super blended, no harsh lines look. And then I went in with Virgin to the brow bone. Then I took a very small eyeshadow brush. This is like the really tiny brushes that come in like eyeshadow palettes. And I took that Bella Teal and I'm taking it to my lower lash line in the center. I am avoiding the outer corner and inner corner because I'm going to take this navy and again a small eyeshadow brush, really really small, and I'm just going to pack that darker blue on the inner corner and outer corner of my lower lash line. Like so. And then I took a clean, tiny concealer brush. That, that one is from e.l.f. and I love this brush for getting in little tiny spaces like this. And I took the Milani Bella White eyeshadow and hit the inner corners of my eyes. It just makes everything pop. Then I took um, Max Pen Ultimate, sorry, brain fart. And I created a super, super thin line on my top lash line. Very, very thin, nothing crazy. And as you can see right here, I slightly gave it a small wing, nothing crazy, keeping the liner super, super simple. Then I applied a couple coats of mascara, and after the mascara dried, I went in with some false eyelashes, Ardell 105s.
I then went in with Maybelline's Rose Lip Liner and lined my lips. As always, I overdraw because that's how I roll. And then I took Candy Buttons from NYX. Love this lipstick. And I was done. Thank you guys so much for watching.